Time heals all wounds, you'll see, is a great quote from Christine Piper's After Darkness. I'm Tani and in this clip I'm going to explain why this is such a great quote. It appears on page 201 and is said by Mrs Taitu who is Ibaraki and his wife Koyoko's neighbour. I am biased towards this quote because I personally find it to be a really in interesting discussion point, even though it is said fleetingly by such a minor character. I could be reading too much into it, but each time I teach this text, I wonder if it's a bit of a plant by Piper to ignite the discussion about the impact and consequences of time on healing painful memories and broken relationships. For the context around this quote, Ibaraki is chosen by a superior to assist with a dissection during a lecture, and Ibaraki is flushed with pride for being tasked with this. He is concerned that this extra responsibility is going to take him away from his wife Koyoko more, though is consoled by how proud she'd be. As usual, he works late to prepare for the dissection, and one night after arriving home, he hears voices. I'm about to go into a massive spoiler alert, so stop watching if you haven't read the text and want to find out for yourself what happens later. You can always bookmark and return to this video. So, Ibaraki goes into his house and he's met in the hallway by Mrs. Taito, his neighbour. She informs him that Koyoko is unwell and that her husband called a doctor who's with Koyoko. This is significant because Ibaraki himself is a doctor. Ibaraki rushes to the bathroom where he finds Koyoko on the floor covered in blood. She's miscarried. When the doctor goes to leave, Koyoko cries for him to stay, not wishing to be alone with Ibaraki. This rejection pains Ibaraki more than the loss of their unborn child. Not only is he a doctor, but he's also a husband and he has failed on both counts with respect to his wife. Seeing Ibaraki's pain reaction, the neighbour, Mrs Taito, gently tells Ibaraki that she won't be like this for long. Time heals all wounds, you'll see. To get into this quote, you will need to have read the whole book as it can link to numerous events in the text, not just the miscarriage. Making the quote quite a contentious one as whether or not it turns out to be true is debatable. On the one hand, it could be said that Ibaraki's decision in his later years to reveal the secrets he has carried with him for a great deal of time represents healing all of the wounds, yet it could be argued that this perspective only works when considering Ibaraki's own personal wounds. An example is when Ibaraki rereads Sister Benice's letter as an elderly man. Her words open up to him and he is able to see that his silence has been weak and it's been courage and forgiveness he'd needed all along. Despite this epiphany taking so long to reveal itself, it is climactic in the sense that Ibaraki is finally able to truly see what has plagued him throughout his life, thus beginning to heal. On the other hand, this quote does not appear to be true for the other major characters, for which time did not allow such healing. For some, it is a case of death coming before the healing had a chance to take place. Most notably, Kyoko's death killed tragically during the war before her and Ibaraki are able to be open with one another and make their peace. In her letter to Ibaraki, Sister Bernice reveals that her greatest regret is the thing she did not say to him, something that remains unresolved. It is possible that Sister Bernice healed in time, though due to the first person narration by Ibaraki, the reader is never truly to know. As a result, whether or not time does in fact heal all wounds is really a matter of reader perspective. I hope you got something from that quick analysis. If you did, please like this video and I do have a few others on the Bear Learn YouTube channel to help you build up your bank of quotes and notes. You may have noticed at the bottom of this screen, we've been taking notes into our Bear Bank. Getting on board is free and is a great way to store book quotes and notes so that they're taggable and searchable. I've actually curated a set of 50 quotes from After Darkness and authored analyses of each on bearlearn.com. Each day you'll get a key quote from the text and its accompanying analysis for 50 consecutive days. You can even get all 50 quotes and analyses put directly into your bear bank. For free, you can get the 50 quotes with each one sent daily to you without the analysis from bearlearn.com. It's a great way to get daily reminders on small parts of After Darkness to help you stay immersed in the text. Good luck with your studies and your assessments. Catch you on the next video. Good night. <laughs>